Greetings. This is a Dazer. Not a Taser, not a laser. It's a Dazer. It's an ultrasonic animal deterrent. You'd use this, for example, if you were a postal worker and about to get bitten, or if you're a, some sort of enforcement officer and someone's just set the dog on you. You can use this to reduce the chances of getting bitten. You uh, attach it to a belt clip and you press the button and a high intensity beam of ultrasound comes out the end. I can't hear that at all. This is the original Mark I Dazer, which is quite old as the Mark II was introduced in April 2005. It's held in place with a plastic melted rivet there, uh, which isn't there anymore, but also the side tabs as well. Let's get the side off. There we go. And it's a fairly, it looks like a fairly simple circuit. So here's the schematic and we'll we'll look at the basic oscillator first. And you see it's a fairly straightforward three transistor oscillator and if you can't get your head around this, ignoring the capacitors for a second, we'll take a look at Q2. If the input of Q2 is high, it turns on and brings the base of Q1 high. If that's on, that brings the base of Q3 high and turns that on, which shunts down the base of Q2, turning it off. If that turns off, Q1 turns off, Q1 turns off, Q3 is allowed to turn off, Q2 is allowed to turn back on again, and around and around we go. The resistors and the capacitors will adjust the frequency of that. We'll find out what the frequency is in just a moment. So this runs as an oscillator with Q1 effectively, apart from the R1, R5 and R6, it's effectively shorting its supply on and off. As it's bringing that input voltage up and down, up and down, most of that supply is actually coming through the transformer. And because that's going through the transformer, it's setting up an oscillation, that's driving the transducer, which also has a relatively large capacitor in there as well, putting its own two penneth in. And interestingly, you can see it also gets a supply via a 33 ohm resistor, a diode, an LED, and a zener. And the odd thing about the way that works is you can see now if I run that, if something interferes with the operation of the transducer, the LED goes out. The only time the LED will come on is if the thing is functioning properly. So it's it's an interesting, it's um, well ingenious really way of, of doing it. Let's do a little more testing with it. I've got the scope hooked up on the back of this transducer which is a Massasonic TR89B transducer. One of the applications is for animal deterrent which is what it's been used for here. Interestingly the data sheet says it can handle 45 volts peak to peak. Here you can see that it's actually more like 80 volts peak to peak. This is 20 volts per division and you can see the frequency is just around the 24 kilohertz mark. Although that might be getting affected slightly by the fact that the oscilloscope is connected. You can hear sometimes it is not happy having that connected. So short and sweet or short and painful if you're a dog. Although I've got the schematics here, if you wanted to build one, they're cheap enough to buy anyway. You may as well just buy one, especially as the transducer will be quite tricky to get hold of and we don't have the specs of the transformer. I'll put a link to the website in the video description. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.